Hello. Okay, I gotta take this clip out. I read a story about a girl with a clip in her hair in a car accident. I'm sure we've all read it, it's terrifying. Um, I have a crick in my neck. I slept, like, I don't know if it was like my arm to neck ratio, I don't know, but it hurts so bad. But anyway, we're on our way to, um, where are we going, Ro? Lowe's. We're gonna try and go find a magnolia, black tulip magnolia tree. We kind of drowned ours a little bit without realizing it because we put it in the ground, it was doing fine. And we got a ton of rain and Sam has this like tube thing that comes out from the gutter and it led right into the tree. And it was just, it was a lot of that going on. So we need to make sure that it doesn't have direct water runoff in excess like that. Um, Sam's gonna move the tree and see if maybe it can get life somewhere else. I know that, you know, what's the worst that can happen? It's dead. It's already dead. Um, so I'm trying for that and then I need to look at blinds. You guys, I measured bl for blinds in our bedroom. When you are moving into a home, I have always heard blinds are most expensive. Cool, yeah, understood. Um, I measured for blinds because our windows are so long. I got two different quotes. If I wanted one set of blinds for one like window, the window in our bedroom, one quote was $792 that did not include install. The other quote I got was $1,100 because they're custom with how like you can get all the different parts and pieces to look together and cohesive and this and that. And so I tried like a couple different styles to like make it look good because of how tall our windows are and how long they are. That was our quote. That was our quote. I will literally not have blinds if I have to pay $1,100 for one set one set and blinds companies should be ashamed of themselves you can't convince me that there's anything like are you wrapping them Ooh. like are you wrapping them with gold do the blinds have gold in them what is eleven hundred dollars about one one set of blinds so anyways we're gonna go look at home depot and see if we can come up with a solution because i'm not paying that that's that is ridiculous who are you talking to who are you talking to Oh, because I was like, Stephen is in Texas. Where are we? Hold on. What's going on? <laughs> I can't get light on. All right, friends. That Peloton is tough. I gotta get a seat. A couple people have sent me links to a seat. Um, that I need to get because my butt hurts. I'm not gonna be able to go back on it until I get one. Um, I already don't have a big butt, but it's like there's no cushion there, you know? I um, wanted to show you all this fit though. So this top, it's actually a little bit searsy, searsy, both from Amazon. I'll have them linked. Absolutely love them. Um, these are really stretchy. So anyways, these have bloomers built into them and I just love them. Showed you all these in a couple colors, but these are my exercise shoes. I gotta take these off. Oh, I don't wanna go all the way back up there. So, I gotta look at this, look at this mess, y'all, it's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have got to tell y'all something about being a mom that I was not prepared for. The last couple days have been exhausting. So like, that's why I haven't vlogged as much. Um, Cause what I have been, it's just, it would have literally just been my kids fussing. Um, so Ezra, okay, so he's potty trained, right? What we did was we got those underwear that are like, they're underwear, but they're like thicker. They're, I don't know if you would call them training pants. I'll link them in the description bar below if you've like potty trained your kid or you're potty training or whatever, they're great. But that's what he wears now. Um, he sometimes will wear like little boxer briefs or whatever, but today he wanted the like boxer briefs on that are really, really just like loose and don't have that like extra layer of fabric in the middle. And we went outside and I looked at him like five seconds after we walked out the door and I was like, where, where are your underwear? And I don't know why, but he takes off the really loose like boxer style, but he wants to wear those. Like he requests to wear them, but then he takes them off. Now I was a kid who just was like naked all the time, right? Like my mom said, I literally used to wander around naked. Just, I hated clothes. And Ezra, I'm finding is very similar to that. He 
with no underwear on, no nothing, sat down in mulch. So Sam had to hold him up while I got the mulch out of his butt. Add that to the list of things that I did not think I was going to ever do in my life. Like I never even would have thought about that. I never would have been like, you know what? I wonder if like there's a time when I'll have to fish something out of my kids, but mulch. So needless to say, we learned our lesson. If we go outside and the underwear come off, mommy can't just be like, it's fine. Like there are some things I've told y'all, like just care less. Like that's the motto for two under two. It's just like care less. Like if it's not hurting anything, if it's not harming anybody, care less. Like it doesn't matter. We, we can't, we have to care about that. But the whole reason why I actually got on this vlog is because I wanted to tell you guys something. So. Um, all a fun story. You guys know I had a lift done. Um, if you are new to this channel or you didn't see the video, I have it on my main channel, which is just Mariah Robinson. I talked all about my breast lift. Um, I don't think I ended up doing a vlog on it. I don't even think I vlogged around that time. But anyway, I had a breast lift. So I had this like standard scar there's a name for it but basically it's the scar like they cut around your nipple there's a line so it's like around your nipple there's a line and then there's like a hole cut underneath right so they did that um i kept tape on it and the scars look great however i wasn't as good about keeping scar tape under here just because it itched it was like really annoying it would kind of peel right here so anyway those did show up so I started using, they told me I could use like scar cream, tape, whatever. And they just said like the earlier you use it, the more effective it will be. And that seems to be kind of the case for like every product I've tried. But this is the Moderma Advanced Scar Gel. Skin protectant, unique triple action formula, visibly reduces the appearance of scars. I think it said like something along the lines of, um, okay, so apply it as soon as the wound has closed, evenly once a day. Eight weeks on new scars, three to six months on old scars. I've been using this for two weeks and I'm already like, and I thought the tape worked fast. Like I just hate the way the tape feels, but I used the tape on this scar, like the one that's the line. I thought the tape worked fast. This works way faster. So if you have any kind of scar, like I always get curious, do these things work on, like has no one tried these on stretch marks? Do they work on stretch marks? Probably not because they're different. I don't know. But this stuff is a game changer. So if you have had um, any kind of like scar surgery, scar surgery, if you've had any kind of surgery, this is great. My dad actually was attacked by a dog when I was a little kid and he had like 40 stitches or something across his nose. Like his nose was literally like, I'll save you the graphics. It, it, it was not a good look. You cannot tell he used Moderma and that was years and years ago. Like I was, maybe I was less than 10 and I'm 29 now. You cannot tell. Like, I don't even think he remembers because it's not even like something that you look at and you're like, oh, there's a faint scar. Like what happened? No clue. So that's actually what I wanted to tell you guys. And then I actually want to, oh, just kind of all this chaos. Um, I, you guys know I've used Lumino since I was pregnant with Ezra cause it's a sensitive like, um, it's great for sensitive teeth. It's enamel safe, peroxide free, non-toxic whitening strips. I used these when I was pregnant, right? So absolutely love them. I'm partnering with them on a video and they sent me their mouth whitening mouthwash, toothpaste, and then also the heads are in here, but I am so excited. They sent me their electric toothbrush. Look at all the options, clean, white and polished, gum care, sensitive. Like I don't think it has any, oh it does. Oh, oh, okay, I guess that's all. But anyway, yeah, I'm super excited to partner with them on a main channel video because I literally have been using this pen right here. If you guys have been following me since I was pregnant with Ezra, you have seen that pen before. I've used that pen and then the regular whitening strips. I think I even have some, I may not, I may actually be out. Nope, yep. I've got the whitening strip packs of extras back here. So 
It's always a very exciting time when a brand that you've loved for years and years reaches out and wants to partner, but um, this is new and I'm super excited about it. And then this as well. So these, oh goodness. I tried some eye patches the other day and they were just super heavy. Like I didn't love how heavy they felt. This is a 50 pack, does it show you? Ooh, I did not they're gold. I'll have to show them to you. Um, maybe in the next vlog, like tomorrow's vlog, but they're gold and they're under eye patches and they help so much with um, puffiness. So I've kept those over here. I need to like find a cute little bin or something to keep them in. But these are also products I've been loving that are new. Puffy eyes, dark circles. They really do help like a lot. If you've never tried these kind of masks, they're great. Especially like I'll take, whenever I've been in weddings in the past, I'll take a full pack of these and give them to all the bridesmaids the day of. I'm like everybody put your eye patches on. They make a huge difference. So anyways, I am going to now go shower and get in bed. Um, it's not a hair wash day, but tomorrow is, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna clip this hair up and then call it a night. But thank y'all again for watching this very short vlog. Um, we will get back to regular programming when my children decide to get back to regular programming, which is, an, is never, they're kids, I get it. But man, the meltdowns, ooh, the meltdowns. <laughs>